but it just does not get a whole lot better than this, ladies and gentlemen. The Tale of the Tape brought to you by Wish, the secret to affordable shopping. Cody Garbrandt is 26, TJ Dillashaw is now 31. Garbrandt, the taller party by an inch and a half. Both men making the championship weight of 135 pounds. Dillashaw with a reach advantage of an inch and a hook. Now for the official introductions, back inside to Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this championship bout is sponsored by Walking Dead. New episodes every Sunday at 9, 8 central, only on AMC. And the Netflix film, Bright, starring Will Smith and Joel Egerton. Watch it on Netflix December 22nd. And now, this fight is five rounds for the Our three judges scoring this contest at Octagon Side are Dave Torelli, Saul Diamato, and Jeff Mullen. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a bang Muay Thai fighter holding a professional record, 15 wins, three losses. He stands five feet six and one half inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. He is the number two ranked bantamweight contender in the world and the former UFC bantamweight champion presenting the challenger, TJ Dillashaw! And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. A freestyle fighter holding an undefeated professional record. 11 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Sacramento, California, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC bantamweight champion. The rules in locker room. I feel like the man's at all time. Watch the pick shows all time. Watch us close to an hour. We're looking both of you. Oh, okay. And if you bet on the prop that they would not touch gloves, it is time to cash those. Just got paid, JS. He's got paid. Is that a prop? Uh, is that I, really I, a bet? I, I don't know. <laughs> you know more than I do, dude. Don't front. <laughs> TJ C. Willie. <laughs> So here we go, 25 right, sir, minutes if needed. TJ Dillashaw, Cody Let's Garbrandt, go one of, if not the biggest UFC Bantamweight Championship fight this Octagon has ever hosted. Garbrandt in the black and gold of a champion, TJ Dillashaw, switching stances as usual is in blue. TJ has a remarkable ability to be calm in big fights. And you saw that in the Hen and Burrell fight. He came out fighting Burrell like he was sparring, very loose and relaxed and he looks that way now. He's smiling, T.J. Dillashaw is smiling. Yeah, he loves competition, and he loves to fight, and this is, this is where he belongs. The one thing the guys from Alpha Play say, if you can get T.J. frustrated, he is willing to forget about the game plan and try to just fight you, and they feel if he does that, he opens himself up to get hurt bad by Cody Garbrandt. And that's what happened in the Dominic Cruz fight. He started getting flat-footed, tried to KO Dominic, and really wasn't fighting to his best. Yeah. With, with Cody, you have to worry about split-second mistakes that can cause you to get knocked out. Well, That's you, the difference. Well, you watch Cody and Cruz. Every time Cruz threw a punch, Cody would respond with something, whether it be the hands or the kicks. So Dillashaw has to make sure that he sets him up. He can't throw blind kicks like this because Garbrandt, as athletic as he is, is able to evade the strikes and then return something. But when he returns, it's very powerful. His counters are wicked, they're fast, he has beautiful timing and precision accuracy with knockout power. There's extreme consequences for closing that distance yes. with Cody Garbrandt. Garbrandt really feels like he can use TJ's status as a competitor and his ego against him. He said, I can be the knife that cuts him. Don't miss The Walking Dead new episodes every Sunday at 9, 8 central only on AMC. TJ 
gives you a lot of smiling, a lot of mugging. <laughs> Cody is very stoic. Cody's trying to trap him. TJ Dillashaw has the better footwork. He's the guy that moves a lot more. But Garbrandt has unbelievable speed and power and throws in combination in every punch is thrown with intent to knock you out. Dillashaw can hurt you in a number of ways. Feet, hands, knees. But Garbrandt can put you out with his hands. He mixes up his kicks to try to get to the punches. Well, Cody feels like he owes TJ something, at least for this title reign. He did well against him in practice when he was 1-0, and, and Dillashaw, and that success. Gave him confidence that he could do this and a first for the champion. Woo! It's getting hot in here. TJ loaded up on that right hand just out of range. Just about three minutes that off was, the round one point. That was some reckless exchanging right there, gentlemen. <laughs> These guys are getting wild. And that's the danger on Garbrandt. You watch Garbrandt kind of give him a look, and that was more impressive than anything in the cruise fight was the calm and patience that he showed in there with the best band of weight in the history of the UFC. Yeah, and his ability to counter so fast and such tight shots. Tight and compact and extremely accurate. Like, look at that left hook. He's very fast, man. Garbrandt comes from a family of fighters, his longtime striking coach, his uncle Robert Meese, one of the best in the game. But Cody tells these stories of him and his brother Zach just beating the tar out of each other for 45 minutes. This is a born fighter. You see TJ actually reset after he throws combinations because he wants to engage on his terms. He doesn't stay in there very long because he knows the danger of standing in front of Cody Garbrandt. He's fantastic with his footwork, too. Just his eyes, man. Avoiding everything. He's got great eyes. He sees everything. Under a minute here to go round one. Dillashaw, as yet, has had a hard time finding his range. And Cody, when he moves away, he moves away just enough. Just a master counter striker. Good shots to, to the body by Cody as well. Ooh. TJ is constantly switching stances. Oh, big right hand oh. landed there by Dillashaw. For as much as these guys don't want to be considered the same, they do have that same fighter's oh! Big knockdown for Cody! There's the horn to end round one. Right hand drops the bag. Oh! At the blow, he's wobbly. He just and wobbled. His leg was stiff. And just flipped him the bird. Dillashaw to be very careful trying to engage. Oh, let's take a look at this again. Very nice. Very Boom! Nice. I mean, on the button. Very nice. Very nice. Let's hear his corner. I like the pressure. Yeah. Corralling him into the cage is very good. Coach can hold the ice, please. Like you crown him and leave him the cage. Or leave him the dance. Sure. Just touch him, okay? Sure. You don't have to set up every kick. You can just blast a fucking kick if you want, like to your body, right? Mm -hmm. Not everything has to be a setup, okay? Just blast a fucking kick, okay? Yes, sir. I like you crowning him, cutting him off, okay? Because he doesn't like that pressure. He wants to sit there, right? Pressure that motherfuckers in the cage, the coach is saying, we we'll fight, we we'll pick our shots. I like the fucking body kick. Hey, you have a kick? Don't. Yeah. Time to go. Cover. UFC 217, Bisping versus GSP is presented by Budweiser. This Bud's for you. I guess we'll find out the extent to which Dillashaw has recovered. But a late knockdown, putting a capstone on round one go, round for the two, incumbent, fight. Cody Garbrandt. That was a big knockdown. It was a strong punch, too. I mean, it was full force. He kind of coming in on the chin. We really don't know how hurt TJ still is. But you saw the experience in the Dillashaw corner. They had ice on him immediately. They were trying to cool him down, try to bring him back. Oh, it's close. Now Cody's dancing. He's gaining confidence. Gaining confidence, but also trying to go TJ in to forget the game plan and just fighting him. 
Garbrandt just well, so in the moment. Sorry, sorry, oh, Jim, but TJ's doing that now because he's become much more flat-footed. I mean, he's loading up now. Look at this. He's loading up and trying to blast kicks in. Standing flat-footed. It's a different TJ now after he got hit. He's trying to get it back. He's listening to Coach, though. Coach said you don't have to set up every kick. Sometimes you can just blast them. Throw the body kick. Throw the leg kick. Don't worry about setting them all up. That's great, but you got to be careful not to allow Garbrandt a chance to counter. Well, he looks fine as far as the way he's moving. He looks like he's fully recovered. You wondered when TJ might shoot. Telegraph that shot a little bit. Head strikes to this point in time. All Cody Garbrandt outlanding Dillashaw 13-4. I don't understand this. Uh, Dillashaw's, Dillashaw's a good guy. I don't quite understand why. Oh, we caught him with a head kick. So and a right hand as well. That's exactly what coach is asking for. Just give me kicks. They don't have to all be set up. Now here comes Dillashaw. Back and forth we go, just but over three minutes. The kicks are what we're talking about. That is the difference between, oh, we caught him with a left hand. Is that TJ has more weapons. Yes. And he uses them more often. Cody throws kicks, but he's really throwing kicks kind of to clear distance so he can land the punches. Yes. The punches are where his bread and butter's at. Was that audience yelling when I think they were yelling? They were. Yes, they were. And I don't quite understand it because Dillashaw's a great guy. I mean, I don't understand why to support your guy, you have to disrespect the other. I think it's just fun. <laughs> <laughs> It just might be. It might be, man. I'm usually on the receiving end. I know, but you got to think about it sometimes. Like, why are they doing that? I don't even think it's personal. I bet if they met you, they'd be nice. Yeah. <laughs> oh! He said it! breaks down! Dillashaw trying to finish this fight! Pull it! Whoa! TJ Dillashaw has done it! Dillashaw now a two-time UFC Bantamweight champion! He wrestled the belt away from Cody Garbrandt. And this rivalry may not be ending anytime soon. Cody goes over to shake hands, a brief embrace. But wow. TJ Co Dillashaw is, is the stunned. hunted again. He is still stunned. He's still hurt. But he goes over there and he shows respect, as you would expect. Wow. Garbrandt immediately goes over to his wife and his mom and signals, I'm okay, but TJ Dillashaw, who would have thought after the end of round one that he could finish Garbrandt in round two? There is a new king at 135 pounds, TJ Dillashaw. Well, he caught him with that left high kick. He stunned him with that and dropped him. But man. Hey, get this guy. Somebody needs to get this guy. One of the corners is yelling at Cody Garbrandt. Somebody needs to get this guy out of here. Have some class. Congratulations, TJ Dillashaw, but you have to be humble in winning and also in defeat. Yeah, not I don't know who that corner, guy is. Not, corner by the, not good by the corner, TJ Dillashaw. Don't ruin this kid's moment. Let's get to the replay, John. It looked like he said he's my brother, so I'm not sure exactly what's going on there. But let's get the replay. It's brought to you by Budweiser. This Bud's for you. You see TJ Dillashaw. Hey, coach said to give me kicks. And TJ Dillashaw, listen, heard Cody Garbrandt with a left high kick there. Right there. Kicks Garbrandt. Garbrandt goes down. The toughness of Garbrandt allowed him to get back up to his feet and continue fighting. But this was just TJ Dillashaw mixing the attack. Then right here, another one of these exchanges. Boom! Big right hook by TJ Dillashaw. Drops Cody Garbrandt, and then he jumps on him for the finish. TJ Dillashaw, we've always said, everybody said that he's as skilled as they come. And look, if these guys fight 10 times, the results may vary. But on this night, big right hook by Dillashaw. Drops Garbrandt, jumps on him, gets the finish. Congratulations to TJ Dillashaw, two-time UFC Bantamweight champion. Absolutely incredible. And again, he felt like he never deserved to lose this belt. And Dillashaw celebrating in the face of Cody Garbrandt. This rivalry is not over, John. Well, and for Dillashaw, too, right? He lost so many friends, friends in this exchange. And, and, yes. and, you know, so 
It wasn't just a guy leaving the gym. Right. I mean, these were his friends, longtime friends. All right, the official decision brought to you by Metro PCS, who brings you closer than ever to the UFC on a fast nationwide 4G LTE network. Here now, Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 41 seconds of round number two, declaring the winner by knockout and you undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, TJ I'm with the winner and once again, bantamweight champion of the world, TJ Dillashaw. What, what did you say to Cody at the end of the fight? Oh, I was just yelling. You know, when he got up, I, I was just yelling. I was just excited and he stood up and I was just yelling. No, I, could... I mean, once you guys had settled that oh. down and then embraced. Uh, congratulations, man. He's a hell of a fighter. He's young. He's going to be back. Like, I'm going to see him again. You know, this isn't the end of Cody Garbrandt. Now, this was a phenomenal fight for you and the win even sweeter because you overcame adversity in that first round. There was a wild exchange at the end of the first round, and you got clipped. How hurt were you? Oh, the kid's fast, man. He hits hard, you know, and uh, you can condition your chin. You know, the better shape you are and the better chin you have. You know, I got caught with the right hand. Woody's got, he's got a big butt right hand, but, uh, you know, I bounced right back. You know, I was still there the whole time. Now, let's take a look at the high kick you landed in the second round, because that's what started it. You landed a left high kick and stunned him. And then, in the follow-up exchange, you put him away. He got up, but you had to know he was hurt here. Oh, absolutely, man. I mean, I was kicking the body, kicking the inside leg, at least trying to. He's fast, he was getting out of the way. But uh, I knew that head kick was eventually gonna open up, get him to drop his hands. He holds his hands a little bit low anyway, so I was gonna take advantage of it. Now, after the extremely close loss to Dominic Cruz, and then the excellent performances afterwards, how sweet is it to finally have that belt back around your waist? I mean, it should be, it's around my waist this whole time in my mind. I was fighting the number one contenders. I should still be the champion. I am the champion. This is my belt. And Demetrius Johnson, I'm coming for you. I'm breaking you. You got that record that is fake. You know it. You should have been fighting me. You dodged me. I'm coming for you. I'm getting that belt. I'm coming to 25s and I'm stopping your record. Congratulations, sir, an outstanding performance. The new champion, ladies and gentlemen, TJ Dillashaw. So TJ Dillashaw there with his family, his wife Rebecca due with their first child in about two months. What a moment for the Dillashaw clan here tonight. We have seen two belts change hands already tonight at UFC 217. That post-fight interview brought to you by Wish, the secret to affordable shopping. Unbelievable.